hello welcome back oh it's been a long time since i've been here i'll go into that in a minute but i'm going to do um a 12 by 12 layout today using that little sketch that you saw me just show you there which is a page map page maps sketch and i'm using rose's studio unconditional collection um i've got some paper the papers uh, some puffy stickers the gems and words um, and a couple of packs of ephemera to create this layout which as I say I'm basing on the page map sketch so whilst I'm putting all this together where have I been well I've not been doing project life which is what I've done a lot of on um, my youtube channel because I'm back to doing 12 by 12 layouts and to be perfectly honest I kept forgetting to record while I was creating the layouts and then when I thought right I must get on and do one of these and record and upload to my YouTube channel, I got COVID. I'd been away to a scrapbooking retreat, which was really good fun. Um, we were all testing every morning before we went to the room and we were all negative. Um, and I was away the Friday, the Saturday and the Sunday. And the Tuesday, it was my mum's 80th birthday and we took her out for a meal and I woke up the Wednesday morning and felt dreadful and tested and I was positive and then I was absolutely panicking that I would have given my mum Covid but fortunately um, I didn't and in fact my husband didn't get it and my daughter didn't get it so <laughs> it was just me and I was really laid low for about two weeks with that and then following on from that we've had oh Easter and just life got in the way but I'm back and I'm hoping that I will upload probably one um, layout a so, month here. back to the layout um, whilst I've been talking and explaining what's been happening in my life um, I've chosen some papers here um, the it's a blue it doesn't come up too well on the screen but it's a blue um, little cross pattern as the main sheet and then I liked the paper with the gold foil stars and then I wanted this white paper um, as the background for the photographs and decided to do a little bit of repeat stamping um, when I used a Catherine Pooler ink which actually is very similar in colour to those blue crosses on that back page. The photos are from um, our wedding that we went to, the son of um, a very good friend of ours. We've known um, the son since he was two years old and he was my son's best man and my son was his best man. So that was really nice and we felt very honoured to be invited along to his wedding and this was back in February. So following the sketch, um, I've got the big block of white paper, which the photos are going to go on, which I've done the repeat stamping. And then I'm putting the strip of um, gold foil star paper on. And then I use one of my paper punches. Um, I've got the knockout paper punch set, one of them from American Crafts, which I really like. Um, and punched the peachy coloured paper out. And I'm putting, going to put that at the top. And I think I also put that at the bottom. Sorry, the bottom of the page is a bit off screen. I'm a bit out of practice with doing the videos. I'm going to have to get back into it and make sure that I get things lined up better for the next one. So popping these two large photos down, they were four by six. I trimmed them a bit just to make them fit better onto this layout. And then the smaller one was three by four. And again, I, I cut that one down. Um just so that it didn't take up too much um, space on the layout. This strip of paper has got um, music notes on it and it just, there was music at the wedding so I thought it looked quite good to go along with that and yes I do put another strip of that peachy pink paper um, underneath there, the border strip. These colours were absolutely perfect for these wedding photos. My son's tie is peachy pink um, and the boys were in blue suits. Um, my husband wore a black suit, but the room itself, because it was February, the wedding was indoors and reception was all indoors. But it had a very yellowish tinge to it, so the gold stars looked lovely with it as well. So having put down all those bits of paper, it's now on to the embellishments. So I had a look at the wood veneer and had a flick through all of that to see if anything was going to be suitable. There's some lovely pieces in this wood veneer, but as it was a picture of the men in... <laughs> <laughs> in the wedding party um, and not the, the happy couple. I didn't want to put too many hearts on it, although my son and his friend, um, they are the best of friends and they call each other brothers. Um, they've just known each other so long. They are like a pair of brothers. Um, so the hearts would not have been out of place, but I did like this hot air balloon. So I decided to use that um, to make a cluster for one of the clusters. And then this little um, arrow down at the bottom 
I'd flick through and to see if there was another arrow, which I couldn't find. But in fact, when I cleared up later, I did find another arrow, but I just used the one arrow here. Then I decided to have a look through the uh, flower ephemera and see if I wanted to use any of that to go in the background, sorting through here to get the right colours. So having, um, pulling out the blues to see if they were the right blues, two different blues in this and one, one looked okay and the other was a little bit off. And also picking out some of the gold um, to use there. So once I'd done that, um, pop the bits I didn't want to use away. I've got quite a few left here, but I can then choose which ones I wanted to. I love this big um, peachy yellow flower um, as the base of this cluster, the top left. Uh, I thought that looked really nice. And then echoed that down in the bottom right with another one of the same colour trying to get the clusters to mimic each other. So having popped those down, I then looked for some leaves that I could tuck in. Um, you do get quite a lot of um, ephemera in these Roses Studio kits, which is really nice. So I popped those leaves under and cleared those away and had a look to see what else I wanted to add to this layout. I felt I needed another cluster. I do like to have my clusters of three. I know you don't always have to, but I felt that this layout did need something else on it. So I decided to go top right, um, and again with another of the yellow and peachy flowers and a green leaf. Um, and then I felt that I perhaps needed um, some gold up, well, a bit more gold up there as well. So I cut down one of the gold leaf sprigs to separate it between two of the clusters. So having done that, I thought about putting um, a wood veneer piece up on the top right and trying to find one that I liked and that looked right and decided to go with this heart. And then it was on for a title. Um, I used some of these small thickers um, just to fit in a small title down in the gap that I'd got left. So that I also had some space to do my journaling underneath that and chose the navy thickers um, because I thought they worked best. So now it's a case of just sticking everything down. I don't make you watch me sticking everything down. Um, once I've got those clusters down, I then pulled out these puffy word phrases, which are lovely, and added those in um, each to each of the clusters, just bringing in some black. Um, which pulls in the, the black of my husband's suit um, into the layout. Having done that, uh, I then pulled out the puffy hearts and chose some of the blue ones and dotted those around the layout as well, just as little scattering pieces getting towards the end of finishing this layout. So what else has been going on in my life whilst I just finished this layout? Well, um, my husband retired back in October and he was given a trip on the British Pullman um, with afternoon tea as his leaving present. And we took that on the fifth on Good Friday, actually, on the 15th of April, which is absolutely fantastic. It's in um, the, tr the coaches are the ones that they use for the Orient Express. We were on a three hour trip around Kent having the most fantastic afternoon tea. And of course, I took a load of photographs, which now all need to be scrapped. So I'm looking forward to scrapping those and you'll see those coming up on my Instagram in the near future. So finishing up my journaling here in this little space just to the left of the title, just saying about how these three guys are very special to me. Um, ran out of space, so I had to do a little extra line there. And then finishing off with some Nouveau drops. So thank you for joining me. I do apologise for not posting more frequently on this YouTube channel. I don't know how I'm ever going to expect to get a following if I don't post regularly. So I will try and post more regularly, at least once a month, if not twice a month. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. And if you would like to follow me, please hit that subscribe button. Thank you once again. Here is my layout in all its glory. And next time you'll get to see a whole layout and it won't be missing on the bottom of the page. Take care now, everybody. Bye bye.